Good day everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Are you a recent graduate who just finished your education or are you a highly skilled worker looking to migrate to Australia and want to know if it is worth it? What are the fees involved for different visas? What are the current processing times? You clicked on the right video. In this video, I will cover the processing times and associated fee for three main general skilled migration visas, which are subclass 189, 190 and 491. If you are considering making Australia your new home, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Let's dive in. For subclass 189, the primary applicant fee is $4,765 while for subclass 190 and 491, the visa fee is $4,770 for the main applicant. Additionally, if you have dependents, there are extra charges for each dependent. The fee for dependents for all three visas are $2,385 for a partner and any child over 18, and $1,190 for each child under 18 years of age. State nomination fee for both 190 and 491 ranges between $300 to $370 depending on the state. Also, Western Australia and Victoria do not charge any nomination fee. I have provided the detailed breakdown on the screen for your reference. Now these were just the application processing charges. In addition, there are several other costs to consider such as medical examinations, which are required for most visas costing between $350 per child and $400 per adult. English language tests such as IELTS or PTE typically costing around $450 Australian dollars per test. Skill assessment fee varies depending on the assessing authority often between $500 to $2,000 Australian dollars. I'll drop a link in the description box below where you can check relevant skill assessing authorities that checks your skill and occupation. Police clearance certificates, for which costs may vary by country, generally around 50 to 100 Australian dollars per certificate. If you choose to apply through a migration agent, their fee can range from 3000 to 7500 dollars or more. These additional costs can add up quickly. So it's vital to budget carefully and be prepared for these expenses. So some of you may be thinking about selling your car, borrowing some money from family and friends and want to know when you will land on the promised land. One of the biggest challenges of migrating to Australia is the long processing time for visas. So let's break it down by visa type to give you a realistic timeline. As per the Department of Home Affairs, who is responsible for processing visas, for points tested stream for subclass 189, 50% of applications are processed within 4 months and 90% of applications are processed within 17 months. For subclass 190, 50% of applications are processed within 12 months and 90% of applications are processed within 18 months. For family sponsored stream for subclass 491, 50% of applications are processed within 10 months and 90% within 21 months. For state or territory government nominated stream for subclass 491, 50% of applications are processed within 14 months and 90% of applications are processed within 29 months. These lengthy processing times can be frustrating, especially when you are eager to start your new life in Australia. It's crucial to plan accordingly and be patient. One of the most important information, which I believe is very useful for every candidate, is the number of visas that are planned to be issued by the Government of Australia on a yearly basis. This information will provide you a realistic picture on the number of places available for immigration in these categories of visa. For the year 2024-25, the government has allocated 16,900 places for skilled independent visa, which is subclass 189. This is a decrease compared to 2023-2024 program allocation of 30,375 places. The government has increased the planning level for the state or territory nominated category to 33,000 visas for 2024-2025 migration program. Further. State-wise nomination allocations for the year 2024-2025 are shown on the screen, 
Nomination allocations are the number of new primary applicants each state or territory can nominate in a program year. To give you some perspective from my personal experience, I submitted my EOI for 491 visa four years ago. I received an invitation to apply in November 2022 and my application is still under processing. It's been almost 20 months and I'm still waiting for the decision to be made. I have immigrated to Canada, got a job and recently bought a new house. So it's always wise to explore all options available and I would recommend checking out my other immigration videos for other countries which I will keep adding to the channel in future. Before I continue with discussing if it's worth it or not, I want to share that I will be posting a video on points calculation of general skilled migration visas discussed in this video, so make sure to check out that video also. Given the long processing time and high fee, is migrating to Australia worth it? This entirely depends on your personal circumstances and goals. Australia has a lot to offer, from its scenic beauty, golden beaches to its high standard of living, safety and security for your family, and overall quality of life in Australia can make this investment worthwhile. However, it's essential to be fully aware of the time and financial commitment involved. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next video.